Hi guys, it's Jodie and welcome to a new video. So I am super excited about today's video because I'm going to be doing a video I've never done before and I've seen a few of my favourite booktubers do this style of video before so I know Olivia from Olivia Reads a Latte does it, I know that Katie from Katie's Reading does it and Hannah from Hannah's Recent Reads. I've seen their videos and it made me so excited and I was like I kind of want to do that. So I'm going to be filming a reset video but it's going to be kind of like a monthly reset as well as like getting ready for autumn kind of reset. So yeah I'm very very excited. I'm going to be doing a bunch of different like autumnal things this week weekend it is September 2nd when I'm filming this which in my head is the first weekend of autumn I'm so excited you guys all know that I just love autumn so much it's my favorite time of year and I'm so excited to be filming autumnal videos again so yeah in this video we're gonna go and get pumpkin spice latte from Starbucks because if you are a gold member for Starbucks in the UK you get like early access to pumpkin spice lattes so they're not out in the UK yet but with the app I should be able to get one I'm so excited I've missed them so much so yeah I'm gonna go and get a pumpkin spice latte today i'm also gonna start decorating my house and my library for autumn so i'm gonna get all my autumn decor pieces out i have the odd thing here and there like my little ghosty pillow and some other little bits but i'm gonna get everything out and we're gonna decorate my house so this is gonna be a bit of like a weekend thing as well because i'm gonna be filming this across the weekend so yeah we're gonna get a pumpkin spice latte we're gonna decorate for autumn we're also gonna go and maybe get some spooky books for autumn as well so hit the book store we're gonna go autumn shopping today so i'm gonna go and get some more homeware decor pieces and just some little bits and pieces that i just like to buy this time of year so i'm gonna be filming that as like a separate video for patreon and i'll also be filming like a haul of everything i get for patreon as well so do look out for that on there if you are interested we're also gonna pick out my tbr for autumn so i am still gonna film an autumn tbr video and in that video i'm gonna go into depth about like the books themselves and things like that but I might briefly show some books here and there in this video so you guys can get an idea of what I'm planning to read during autumn. So I probably will do some other things in this video as well. But at the moment, I'm just too excited and I can't think properly. So those are just some of the things I'm planning to do in this reset. Very, very excited. But yeah, for now, I'm going to go and do some shopping and get a pumpkin spice latte. And I'm very 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 happy so i will probably catch up with you guys a little bit later this evening when i'm back home and that's when we are gonna get in to decorating and doing all of that good stuff as well i'm also gonna try and make like a pinterest board for autumn as well which i'll hopefully be able to show you guys and i want to make some like bucket lists and like an autumn film list and like a playlist and stuff all of that good stuff so i'm going to include that in this video as well but yes i'll probably catch up with you guys later when i'm back and that's when we'll get into like decorating and doing all of that stuff but for now i am going to go and do some shopping which i'm very happy about so i will catch up with you guys a little bit later <laughs> Hi guys, so it's been a few days since I started this video. So basically, as you guys seen, I went to the bookstore. I did get a couple of spooky books and we went shopping and got lots of autumnal bits and pieces of the house. I actually got some autumn clothes as well, which I'm obsessed with. This top was actually one of them, which is a very just like basic top it's not very autumnal but it's so soft and comfy and i'm obsessed with it um, but i did get lots of like woolly jumpers and like autumnal boots and things like that so as i said earlier on i did film the whole process of that and the haul for patreon so if you want to go and watch that i'll link it down below in my description box 
but yeah i did that we went book shopping i got my first pumpkin slice latte of the year which was 10 out of 10 absolutely incredible i just love those drinks so much and don't let anyone ever shame you for enjoying a pumpkin spice latte like enjoy the little things in life love what you love and don't care what people think okay like i love pumpkin spice and i'll continue to scream about pumpkin spice lattes and get excited about them because they're delicious and i love them but yes i did get a pumpkin spice latte and then i got home and had so much work to do so i still have not decorated so my plan today is to decorate my library and my house with all my autumnal decor i also need to do my pinterest boards i want to create another autumnal little playlist and do a like autumn bucket list of like movies or tv shows i'd really like to watch those are the plans for today and then towards the end of this video we will do my september tbr so i'll show you guys all of the books i'm planning to read in september but i have filmed an autumn tbr already so those are like all of the books i plan to read through like september october into november but then i will still be doing like an october tbr a vampathon tbr and a november one where i might have swapped some of the books out and i do talk about them in more detail but that video will be coming very very soon after this one so if you do want to see like all of the books then make sure you keep an eye out for that but yeah it's been a few days anyway and i did buy lots of things when i went shopping so i will show you like the odd thing here and there um so go and grab yourself a nice cozy drink it's actually really hot in the uk which is just really not the autumn vibes but we're gonna just continue anyway and we're gonna continue to make ourselves feel autumnal even though the weather is most certainly not but hopefully the heat wave will go soon and it'll be rainy and cold and i can wear all my new woolly jumpers because i'm just dying to wear a woolly jumper but the weather says no so it's not quite autumn but in my head it's still autumn so i do need to go out and get some like batteries and stuff because i bought some autumnal lights that need batteries and i've run out um and i also realized i didn't really buy any like um autumnal like bouquets of flowers because i have a vase in my room and a couple of other places in the house where i want to swap them for like autumnal flowers so we may go and get that today as well if not i'll include that in like a weekly vlog do you want to go and get another pumpkin spice latte because i'm craving one so badly so we might do that it's also the following weekend so hopefully i can get my reset done this weekend which isn't ideal a week into the month already but alas we continue we keep the vibes going when i went to the bookstore to pick up a spooky book i was intending to only get one and they didn't actually have the one that i wanted so i got the like other book in the series now i believe these can be read as standalones but i think it is part of like a series maybe um but this one's a witches of thistle grove novel this is by lana harper and it's from bad to cursed and i love this book cover so the book that i did want was this one here which is paybacks a witch but they only have this one but this sounds so good it says in the back here opposites attract in this wickedly charming rom-com by lana harper and yeah i believe i think this is kind of like hate to love but yeah i don't know a lot about it i just really wanted to try one of lana harper's books because i've heard they're really fun witchy reads so this was the only one they had so i just grabbed it so i will probably add this to my october tbr but i'm very excited to have it and i feel like i will really love this and then i also got this because it was reduced to three pound and it's one of the volumes i still needed to get now i have no idea why this was reduced to three pound because it just says on the back that it was clearance but I can't see anything wrong with it no misprints and i was not going to turn it down for three pounds um so that is jujitsu kaisen of volume 19 so currently i only have volumes 1 to 17 so i need to get volume 18 but i can't complain when i got this for three pounds so yeah now i have volume 19 as well i've only read volume 1 of jujitsu kaisen i plan to binge read them all which i still do plan to do don't know when but i will um so yeah seeing this for three pound i was like i have to pick it up like it's a bargain and yeah i'm very excited i have this and i do really like this cover like it's so friggin creepy so i still feel like it's on brand for this time of year but those were the two books i did pick up at the bookstore so yeah those are the plans for today we are going to decorate the house or spooky and even though it is hot outside i'm thinking i kind of just want to have some nice cozy vibes tonight but now i'm gonna go i have a few little errands i need to do first but then we will continue to decorate for autumn and i'm so excited because i just i love Love having my autumn decor out it's all sat downstairs waiting for me to put it out and yeah it's gonna be really really fun so yeah so go get yourself a drink and get comfortable and get ready to decorate for autumn with me
set. Last night I didn't end up decorating my library but I did finish the house and got all of that done so the house is looking very cute and cosy. So yeah I just need to decorate the library room. Now I don't think I'm going to go crazy this year. Usually I'd put like cobwebs all over my shelves and stuff like that but because I have like things I have to film for work and just like the mess of it as well like I don't think I'm going to do that this year so I'm going to keep it really simple. I might also put some lights on these shelves. I'm not 100% sure, but I just feel like at night, like this portion is so dark and it will benefit with some fairy lights. And I just found these, which are like the dark ones. Um, so they would like look fine, I think, against that. But I do think these are Christmas lights, so I'm not sure. But yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'll put these on as well. So I don't have like tons of decorations to go everywhere in here. But yeah, I'm going to put like the odd thing on my shelves. I have already got like the odd little thing on here, like already. And then I recently got a coffee table in my library room, so I kind of want to decorate that and make that look cool. Um, I might buy some more of, like, that black, like, um, web-looking, like, cloth stuff and maybe put that across the coffee table. But I used the two that I had in the living room already, so I'd have to go and buy that, like, another time. Um, but I feel like we can still decorate um, and make it look cute. And then I still want to make my Pinterest boards and all that good stuff. So I am hoping to get it all done this evening. So I guess we're just going to have like a nice cosy little evening. Continuing with the reset and getting ready for the week ahead and for the rest of the month. The only issue is it's so hot. Like it is far too hot. Like it's the kind of hot where you don't want to do anything. It's unbearable. But... I want to get this reset finished. I want to get set up for autumn. I'm just so excited. Like I bought a new little plug-in diffuser thing for when you walk in through my front door and I got like this apple cinnamon one and it just smells so good when you walk in and like just all the autumnal smells and like cute little things I have everywhere it's just getting me so excited and so happy and I do also have a pumpkin spice latte so I'm very I'm very happy about that so yes I'm gonna drink this pumpkin spice latte and I'm gonna get the library room decorated and then we're gonna have a cozy evening continuing on with the reset Oh, and of course, I'm going to show you guys my September TBR as well. But yes, let's get going. I'm so excited. <laughs>
hi guys so we're gonna make my autumnal pinterest board um, and i might make a new like wallpaper for my laptop but i'm not sure because i do kind of like the one i already have so i actually have two pinterest accounts because i can't remember the password for either and one is saved my computer and one is saved my phone and they're totally different but like i save really cool stuff on my phone but then i save really cool stuff on the one on my like computer so i'm gonna try and share autumn board i have now on my pinterest and my phone because i've been adding to that one lately and then we will use some of those pins to make this one because there's some really cute photos on there uh but it will not let me uh drop this link for some reason which is kind of annoying <laughs> month so i think i already said i filmed like a autumn tbr already of kind of like all the books i'm hoping to read through autumn so we're gonna pick out just a few for the rest of this month i am in a bit of a reading slump at the moment so i feel like it might be a bit hard but i'm gonna try and pick like some books that i'm just like super excited about um and yeah we'll see how many I pick and what I pick. I'm gonna pick some stuff off that autumn TBR obviously that I filmed but I am also just gonna kind of pick whatever takes my fancy because like I said I'm in a slump so I don't want to limit myself I just need to pick like what I think will get me out of it. So yeah let's pick my TBR. <laughs> considering we're like over 10 days into september already and i've not even finished a single book but this slump is hitting me hard so hopefully some of these books will get me out of it because this is like my favorite time of year and i love to read during this time of year but we shall see um so first let's get into a couple of books that i am already reading and hoping to continue reading and finish this month so we have belladonna by adeline grace i'm currently halfway through this give or take well maybe a bit less than halfway i'm on page 162 and i actually started this the end of last year and i just was not in the mood for it when i started it so i figured i'd give it another go again now and see if i was in the mood and i am enjoying it a little bit more i have kind of just started from where i left off last time which was about 150 pages 140 pages in so i do remember bits of it but i probably should have started this over but i didn't want to i just wanted to carry on so yeah i am hoping to finish this one and this is also kind of like a gothic romantic fantasy kind of thing in a way um we have the personification of death in here and our main character basically can't die and we don't know why so yeah it's really interesting there's like a bit of a mystery in here as well 
and yeah it's a fun time so hopefully i finish this one and then i'm also currently reading the hurricane wars and this is by thea guanzon and i am 149 pages into this one so this is an arc it comes out in october i believe and this is basically Kyla Ren and Ray fan fiction is basically what this is. I'm pretty sure it did originate as a fan fiction, but it's basically enemies to lovers at its core. Like this is really good enemies to lovers. It's filled with action. Um, definitely Star Wars Stormtrooper vibes. If you're in Star Wars, you will love this. So far, I'm really, really enjoying it. So I'm hoping to continue on with this and finish it. The only reason I haven't really binged my way through this is just because the world building's a little bit complicated. So sometimes I'm kind of like, I need a break from this. But I do really want to pick it back up again. I've just got onto part two now because it is in parts. So I definitely do want to finish this this month. And then let's get onto the books that I did pick. So some of these are featured in my autumn tbr video that's probably coming up after this one some of them are books that weren't in that video but i do want to read now so we'll see obviously i'm probably not going to read all of these but you never know um so first up we have spells for forgetting by adrian young i really want to read this one because it's kind of like a mystery thriller with a bit of like supernatural paranormal kind of vibes and i think it's like a second chance romance as well so here it says that it is um an evocative compelling novel of lost love and the unraveling of a small town and its many secrets so yeah i love small town books as well something about it's just so inherently cozy and one of my friends has read this book and absolutely adored it so i feel like i will like it and i've not read anything like this book in quite some time so i'm interested to see like if this might be the book that will get me on my reading slump but who knows we shall see but i am hoping to get to this one this month and i'm thinking maybe even listening to the audiobook but i'm not sure so if you've listened to this on audio please do let me know your thoughts in the comments but yeah hopefully i do get to this one then next is bring me your midnight by rachel griffin i am a huge fan of rachel griffin adore the nature of witches and wild as the witch and this is her third novel and this recently came out and i am just like literally ecstatic to read this this is just the perfect read for this time of year like any of her books just do so well in the autumn they are very cozy atmospheric lyrical and just really cute wholesome stories they always have a little sprinkle of romance this one has forbidden magic and forbidden romance i believe it's kind of got dark magic in here and a dark kind of mysterious guy um witches and all that good stuff so i'm very very excited to give this one a read i'm predicting it to be five stars because i always love rachel griffin's books okay so next we have thorn edge by t kingfisher i've never read anything by this author but the reason i decided to put this on my tbr is because sometimes it's nice to put a short book in there especially when i'm slumping like this could be something maybe i should pick up just to get me out my slump um i don't know a lot about it i just know it's kind of like a dark retelling i think of rapunzel but like with a twist so that's kind of all i know but i'm excited to try something and buy t kingfisher and see if i like it and quite a lot of people have said they really enjoyed this so i'm very very excited to get to it then we have the dead romantics by ashley poston so a lot of people recently have been reading this book and reviewing it and talking about it and it's made me bump up the list on my tbr because all the reviews have been so high so i've never been 100 sure on this one weirdly enough and the synopsis of this is like my ideal cup of tea but at the same time something about it i'm like how does this work basically this is a romance between a girl and a ghost and he's like her editor is horrible to her but now he's like suddenly dead and turned up on a doorstep and i don't know how that's gonna work but yeah apparently that is the gist of it so i am excited to read this but also just kind of like apprehensive for some reason i'm not too sure why but i feel like this is a perfect read for september because obviously it is a rom-com but it's spooky so i feel like it's a no-brainer like this will be really fun to read and a good romance is always something good to get me out some so we will probably reach for this one very very soon okay so this next one i don't know for sure if i'm gonna start I will probably start it this month but definitely not finish it and that is Dracula by Bram Stoker. So when I was in college I did read some of it but I never actually finished reading it and I love vampires. I love vampire movies or vampire books and obviously Dracula is one of the OGs and the fact I've never read it is criminal. 
and I really want to change that but my thing is is that me and classics just do not go well together but I feel like maybe Dracula will be the one you know like I feel like I'm, it might but I do know there's a whole lot of nonsense in here that doesn't really need to be in here um but yeah I kind of do want to read this so I'm thinking I'm probably going to start reading it this month and just dip in and out of it whenever I feel like it and I just love this edition like I've got so many different copies of Dracula like I own a lot of copies and yeah I've never actually finished it so yeah I think I want to read this edition because it is so beautiful but I'm not sure if I do want to annotate this one because it is so pretty I feel kind of bad for writing in it but I don't know we'll see um but yeah I'm putting on my TBR because I feel like if I am going to read this in October I need to start it in September and then finish it in October there's no way I will read this within like a month because I just know classics in me aren't a good mix um but I do really want to read this so I am going to put on my TBR and we'll see if I do but I don't know okay this next one is go hex yourself which I think I did speak about last year maybe because I did start it but didn't read anymore for some reason um but this is a witchy rom-com and on the back it says there's one hex of an attraction in this romantic comedy from new york times best-selling author jessica claire and um, so from what i remember um there's like a job advertised in the paper and our main character applies for not realizing she will actually be working for a witch she thinks it's like for a game and then there's like a grumpy like nephew or grandson or something i don't even know and she has to kind of work alongside him and then obviously they don't like each other but a romance kind of develops and it looks like there's a cat and if there's a cat i'm sold so yeah i'm very excited for this because i love a good witchy rom-com and i might have to do a reread of the xx because that's my favorite um but i'm hoping this one will give me the same vibes and the floppiness is just so stunning so yeah we will see but i think i probably will read this one soon because i feel like i need a good witchy rom-com in my life okay so this next one is bone smith and this one is by nikki palpretto and i'm actually like a little under halfway through this already i can't remember exactly what page i'm on but i am really really enjoying this so far the only thing that i'm not like a massive fan of is the world building because i am finding it a little bit heavy for a ya book because this is young at all but at the same time i'm really enjoying it like it's so different to what i've read before especially in ya this is essentially like gideon the knight meets game of thrones and i watched olivia's video from olivia reads latte and she made such a good point about this specific dust jacket but the character actually does remind me so she basically said that like this looks like if um sarah j mass had written gideon the ninth which is just so funny but like that's what this kind of does remind me of and i would say like our main character definitely has selena sardothian vibes like she's very like um fierce and like strong-hearted and like headstrong and kind of arrogant in a sense and she thinks she can take the world on with her two fists and like you know like that's the kind of girl she is but at the same time she's also somebody who just really wants to be loved and to prove herself and that sort of thing which to me just reminds me of selena sarathian and it's also the fact that she is just like a badass like vibes are there basically this girl ren her day job is fighting ghosts like come on now <laughs> i love it so yeah the world is still really cool it's just a little bit I would say confusing for me at times like there's a lot of bits of info dumping in here of like backstory and history and world building which is what's taken me away from the story at times but besides that i'm really enjoying it the characters are so cool in here there's already been some wholesome friendships in the first few chapters and then we also have enemies to lovers it's so good we have like a mission that they're going on as well there's ghosts there's like a conspiracy going on we have two people who absolutely hate each other now forced to work together a romance is gonna ensue i think and there's like a prince in here and just it's so good so far um look how cool as well this art is but yeah anyway so i am really enjoying this so far definitely want to finish it it's absolutely perfect for this time of year and yeah we'll see i really think where i'm at in this book now is where like things are really starting to like get tense i think the enemies to lovers romance is really going to start to develop and the pace is really going to get like intense so yeah very very excited to continue reading this one but i'm showing it anyway because it is on my tbr then next we have the ballad of never after by stephanie garber i have read once upon a broken heart two or three times now i think i think it's maybe just two 
I reread it again earlier this year with the intention of going into this but then I went into a slump because I love the first book so much and I should have just immediately gone into this one but for a few days I was busy I didn't read and then I ended up in a slump and I started this but then I just like couldn't I don't know why I got 24 pages in I absolutely love Once Upon a Broken Heart it's one of my favorite books I've ever read the writing is unlike anything I've ever read and I know every fictional book is storytelling but to me storytelling means something different and Stephanie Garber's writing in Once Upon a Broken Heart is like just like it is storytelling like she tells you a story it's like she's telling you a bedtime story or a fairy tale or a lullaby like that's what it feels like it's very whimsical and magical and I just loved it plus I love Jax um I love a bit of like a guy who's kind of morally grey yeah anyway like I really really loved it so I do really want to read this but yeah I'm very, very excited to finally get to this and I'm predicting five stars I'm just terrified of the ending but A Curse for True Love comes out I think maybe this month or next month so I really need to pick this up ASAP um but hopefully I finally do read it this month and then the last book is my Patreon buddy read a book for September and this is one that I really really kind of wait for and have very high expectations for which kind of does make me nervous but that's One Dark Window by Rachel Gillig so this is a YA fantasy romance and it's very gothic it basically says here that it's a gothic fantasy romance about a maiden who must unleash the monster within to save her kingdom so yeah I'm very very excited for this one I've heard nothing but good things everyone is putting this like in the same level as fourth wing and divine rivals which is a very high bar so i'm hoping that it is as good for me as those books i feel like i will love this more than divine rivals just by the premise alone but we shall see um so yeah i am filming a spoiler filled reading vlog for this book over on my patreon so if you did want to join us you can basically every single month we just read a book that we all vote on and i do like a vlog for it we have a discord where we discuss it and things like that so that is all over on my patreon if you did want to join us but yeah i am gonna be diving into this one very soon and i'm very excited i don't think i could ask for a better book to be reading this month because of the spooky gothic vibes that this has and plus this edition is just so beautiful like i love the art inside here like it's so pretty so yeah this will be a book i'm definitely going to be reading this month but that is my september tbr and i think my reset is done there were a few more things i did want to do in this video but i've ended up filming this across like a week and a half now and with that much into september i'm like okay i just need to like get this done and up if you guys do want to see like monthly reset videos from me going forward please do let me know um, it's not something I've generally really done that much before but a lot of my favourite booktubers do these videos and like some of just like the lifestyle vloggers that I watch so I just figured it'd be fun to like give it a go and I want to be able to decorate for Halloween and I figured what better than a reset video to include it all in. Um, so yeah let me know in the comments if you'd like me to do this like monthly TBR reset kind of video vlog thing um it was pretty fun to film so i wouldn't mind doing it every month but i definitely do want to try and bring tbrs back because i feel like for a time the no tbr thing was working for me but now it just isn't anymore i feel like i need the structure of a tbr again um so yeah let me know in the comments what you would prefer and let me know what your reading plans are for this autumn what you have planned in general any autumnal spooky books you would recommend or just like activities in general to do during autumn then please do let me know below but i hope you guys did enjoy this video and that you're excited for autumn and all the spooky content because i am just in love with this time of year it's just the best um, and having all my awesome decor everywhere just makes me so happy. Anything I have mentioned, I will link in the comments down below, along with the links to all my social media, so you can find my bookstagram and my TikTok account. Both linked there, as well as some other things. I'll also link my Pinterest board, like the autumn one I created, and anything else that's relevant, as well as my Patreon link. So on Patreon, you can find our monthly buddy read. You can also find a monthly readathon, photos live shows extra videos there's also my autumn um, shopping with me and haul video that i filmed whilst filming this one up on there if you did want to go and watch that and there's lots of extra other things that go up on patreon so if you are interested in any extra content from me but yes i'm gonna go now before this video gets too long so thank you guys so much for watching leave a autumnal emoji in the comments if you made it this far and don't forget to give it a big thumbs up i hope you're all safe and well i hope you're reading lots of good books and i'll see you in the next video Bye.